Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti from AnthonyMorganti.com. This is episode 49 of Lightroom Quick Tips. This episode is for Apple users. Yesterday I received an email from someone. They were wondering how they could get their images out of their Apple Photos app into Lightroom. It's not really obvious how to do this. Well, there's several different ways to do it. I'm going to show you what I think is the easiest way to do it. Now, to do it this way, it's easier if you have the Lightroom icon on your Apple dock. You can see how I have the Lightroom icon there. If you don't have it there, open up Lightroom, then right click on the icon, then go to options, and one of the options will be keep in dock. So do that, then close Lightroom down. We're going to have Lightroom closed to begin with. What you need to do is go down and open up a finder window. Once you have your finder window open, navigate to your pictures folder. Now, you're going to have one, maybe two different files in this folder that we're going to be concerned with. I have one. I have this file right here called iPhotoLibrary.MigratedPhotoLibrary. If you have just that one file, great, we're going to work with that. You may have a different file. You may have PhotosLibrary.PhotosLibrary. If you have just that file, great, just work with that file. If you have both, which you might, you want to work with the newest one. So just look at the date modified and see which one is newest. Then what you want to do is right click on the file. Now I get this all the time from Apple users. Whenever I say right click, I invariably will get an email from someone. They'll tell me that they can't right click because they have an Apple mouse. Well, you can. All you got to do is hold the control key in and then click on the mouse. That's the same as right clicking. You also could go down to your system preferences and you could set up your mouse so that it recognizes your middle finger as a right click. All right. And that's the way I have mine set up. So we're going to right click on it and we're going to go down to show package contents. And you can see now we have a bunch of files and folders. What you need to look for is the Masters folder. The Masters folder contains every image that is in your Photos app. If you want every image that is in that app in Lightroom, all you need to do is drag this entire folder down to Lightroom icon, the Lightroom icon that is down here in the dock. Now, in my case, I don't want every single image that is in my Photos app, mainly because I really don't take pictures with my phone. Any pictures that are in there are either very old images that I took with like an old flip phone, probably like seven years ago, or they're images that I'm on my phone and I'm surfing the internet and I see a funny internet meme or something and I'll save that. And whenever you save an image on your phone, it gets put in your photos app. Also, sometimes I see images from other photographers. I really like the image and I want to remember that style or something like that and I'll save it to my phone. So I have a lot of images on here that aren't mine and I don't want them in my Lightroom app. So what we're going to do, if you don't want every single image that is in this master's folder, you could drill down. So double click on it and open it up and you can see it's divided up by year. Now I already went in here and looked around and we're going to go to 2008 and I'm going to go to November 4th, 2008, because I know those are images that are something I could easily get out of the Lightroom. You'll see in a minute what I'll show you. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab this whole folder, this entire folder, and I'm going to drag it, and I'm going to just put it on top of the Lightroom icon that is in the dock. What will happen now is Lightroom will open, and immediately the import dialog box will appear, as you see. And you can see there are these images. Now, if you don't see any images here, on this left panel, see where it says include subfolders? If you drag that entire master library or master folder over, you likely aren't going to see anything unless this includes subfolders checkbox is checked. So make sure that's checked. Then what we got to do, we got to decide, are we adding them or copying them? If you add them, they're gonna, it's going to stay inside of that file. We don't want it there. So I think we want to copy them. We want to copy these images into our Lightroom library. And that's what I suggest you do, copy them. When you do that, we're going to come here and we're going to, you know, where do we want to put them? Well, I don't put it on my Macintosh H, you know, hard drive. I put it in my Lightroom library, which is right here on the raw files. Oops, there we go. And um, 
I'm going to just put it in a um, in a subfolder uh, right there, and I'm just going to call it temp. All right, just because uh, to show you what I'm going to be doing, I guess. So temp. Uh, develop settings none metadata I'm going to use my import preset so you could do this as you normally would here so I'm going to import these 12 images that were in my photos app into Lightroom and you can see it's going to import them in and now they're in Lightroom now I'm in the library module and it is in a temp folder which is right there. And you can see these are actually from New Scientist magazine. These is actually a calendar from 2009. So it's in my photos library, as you could see. Now, when you import, especially if you imported that master folder and you have tons of different you know, images in here, now you could just drag them, be in your library's library um, module, and you could just drag them by image. So if I want this image somewhere else, I could just drag it, you know, into a different folder. Or if there were subfolders, I could drag the entire folder right here. So pretend this waterfront was an imported one. I could just grab this and, and drag it somewhere. But I'm not going to do that. So that, but that's how you then you could like rearrange things once you actually import them into your Lightroom library, you might want to rearrange them. You might have some images of insects, you might have images then of sunsets, and you have different folders already set up in your Lightroom library that you want this uh, images in these specific folders. So you could just drag the images around or drag the entire folder around and get it put where you want it. So that's it. That's how I suggest you move images from your Apple's photo app into Lightroom. You copy them the way I showed you. Uh, that's it for episode 49. I hope that helps all you Apple users. I'd like to thank everyone that watches my videos. I truly do appreciate it. All right, I'll talk to you guys soon.